Let's now learn about controlling and optimizing Google Cloud costs. Google Cloud provides an innovative approach to pricing. Below are a few approaches Google Cloud provides. You can run workloads for free as Google Cloud provides you free credits of $300 to run, test and deploy the workloads. This means users can create an account to evaluate how Google Cloud products perform in real-world scenarios. Google Cloud provides 20 plus products for free, up to monthly usage limits. With Google Cloud's pay-as-you-go pricing structure, you only pay for the services you use. No upfront fees, no termination charges. Google Cloud helps you save a lot of money for other providers through automatic savings based on monthly usage and prepaying at discounted rates. For example, you can save up to 57% with committed use discounts on compute engine resources like machine types or GPUs. Using Google Cloud, you can optimize the cost with AI-based recommendations and custom dashboards that are used to display cost trends and forecasts. Google Cloud offers the pricing based on the four principles. These are no upfront costs. The users do not have to make an upfront investment to use any GCP services. Pay as you go. Across compute, storage and data transfer, Google only charges for the resources used. It also helps users to scale up and down flexibly. No termination fees. The users can always scale down or shut off services without paying any additional cost. Free tier. Google offers a 12-month free trial with $300 of credit for all its cloud services. There's also an always free tier which provides the major GCP services for free with usage limits. Application of discounts includes flat rate, sustained use discounts, committed use discounts. Sustained use discounts are defined as the discounts that are applied automatically for running specific compute engine resources for a period of the billing cycle. For example, if you run a resource for more than 25% a month, the compute engine automatically gives you a discount for an increase in every minute usage for that instance. These discounts can be applied to the following resources. All GPU devices, the vCPUs and memory for general purpose custom and predefined machines, the vCPUs and memory for compute optimized machines, the vCPUs and memory for memory optimized machines, the vCPUs and memory for sole tenant nodes. Below are a few limitations of sustained use discounts. These are automatically applied to the VMs that are created by both Google Kubernetes Engine and Compute Engine. Sustained use discounts are not applicable for the VMs that are created using the App Engine Flexible Environment and Data Flow. Sustained use discounts are not applied to E2 and A2 type machines. Committed use discounts are the discounts that are purchased on the basis of committed use contracts in return for highly discounted prices for using the VMs. These are ideal for workloads with predictable resource needs. With committed use discounts, you can use the following. vCPUs, memory, GPUs, local SSDs, sole tenant nodes. Let's see some advantages of using committed use discounts. It helps in optimizing the compute costs by examining the trends of using the VMs with and without the usage of the committed use discount contract. By comparing these numbers, we can analyze how much we can save every month by using the committed use contract. Committed use discounts can be applied on both vCPUs and memory. You can buy a committed use discount for vCPUs or memory independently of one another. Committed use discounts can be shared across projects. This helps you in reducing the overhead of managing discount on a per-project basis. With committed use discounts, there is no difference between a custom machine and a predefined machine. The discount will be spread proportionally across all the projects 
under the same cloud billing account. For more details, check the link in the description. Learn with Wits Labs. Success certified.